Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia News and the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 6th of August. India remains deeply concerned under Bangladesh's situation stabilizer, says Jeshan. Baloch diaspora in Germany protest against Pakistani atrocities in war. Sri Lankan Navy arrests 22 Indian fishermen for alleged poaching. And also, India is monitoring the situation in Bangladesh. India's foreign minister, S. J. Shankar, said on Tuesday. In a Sumo statement made in the upper house of parliament, growing polarization in Bangladesh politics aggravated a violent agitation in the country earlier this month. He said during this period, India Council restrained and urged that the situation be diffused through dialogue. He added, despite the Supreme Court judgment, there was let up in violence and the 4th of August it took a serious turn when state installations and those associated with the ruling regime were attacked. What was particularly worrying was that minorities, their businesses and temples also came under attack at multiple locations, he added. He said the situation is still evolving in Bangladesh and added that New Delhi is monitoring the overall situation, including the status of minorities in the country. Properties of individuals associated with the regime were torched across the country. What was particularly worrying was that minorities, their business, businesses and temples also came under attack at multiple locations. The full extent of this is still not clear. We are also monitoring the situation with regard to the status of minorities. There are reports of initiatives by various groups and organizations to ensure their protection and well-being. We welcome that, but will naturally remain deeply concerned till law and order is visibly restored. Our border guarding forces have also been instructed to be exceptionally alert in view of this complex situation. Sheikh Hasina fled Bangladesh on Monday after resigning from the Prime Minister's post as protesters marched towards her official residence. Monitored by Indian agencies and security escorted by the Indian Air Force jets over the Indian Air Space. Hasina landed at the Hindan Air Base on Monday evening, where she continued to stay till last reports came in. India has also heightened security along the nearly 4100 kilometers long international border with Bangladesh in view of the complex situation. Meanwhile, Bangladesh President Mohammad Shahabuddin dissolved the parliament on Tuesday after the protest coordinator threatened another program if the demand of parliament dissolution was not met. However, uncertainty loomed as the South Asian nation awaits the formation of an interim government following Sheikh Hasina's ouster. A report. Bangladesh President Mohammad Shahabuddin on Tuesday dissolved the parliament a day after Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina resigned and fled the country. Dissolution of parliament was a demand made by protesters who have threatened more demonstrations if their demand was not met. In a statement, the president office said the decision was taken following meetings with the heads of defense forces, leaders of political parties, student leaders and some civil society representatives. In a different statement, the president office said that Hasina's arch rival Bangladesh Nationalist Party chairperson Begum Khalid Azia a former prime minister had also been freed from house arrest. However, there was a cloud of uncertainty over the interim government. Bangladesh Army Chief General Wakarus Zaman, who has assumed the control of the country after Hasina's ouster, was scheduled to meet student leaders to discuss the formation of an interim government that is expected to hold elections soon after it takes over. However, there was no confirmation if the meeting took place. While the country waits for a new government, protesters have said they want Bangladesh Nobel laureate Mohammad Yunus, an arch foe of ousted Bangladesh PM Hasina, to head the government. They have said they will not accept any other government than the one proposed by them.
এবং অবশ্যই ছাত্র জনতার প্রস্তাবিত সরকার বাদে কোন ধরনের সরকার কিন্তু মেনে নেওয়া হবে না আমরা বলেছি কোন ধরনের সেনাশাসিত সরকার অথবা সেনা সমর্থিত সরকার অথবা এই ফ্যাসিস্টদের দোষরদের কোন বিটিং সরকার কিন্তু আমরা মেনে নেব না কোন গণবিরোধী সরকারকে মেনে নেওয়া হবে না Bangladesh was on boil for more than a month due to the students led protests against reservation and government jobs for descendants of the 1971 freedom fighters the protests soon turned violent killing more than 150 people while the supreme court scrapped the reservations there was no let go in violence with protesters having a single point agenda hasina must resign the protests reached a high point on 5th of august when protesters stormed unopposed into the grounds of the prime minister's residence carrying out looted furniture and TVs elsewhere in Dhaka protesters climbed atop a statue of Hasina's father Bangladesh founder Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and began chiseling away at the head with an axe house of Hasina's Awami League leaders along with houses and businesses of minority Hindu community were also attacked an Indian cultural center in capital Dhaka was also destroyed by the protesters Hasina's son Sajib was a joy has said she was disappointed and would not attempt to mount a political comeback Thousands of supporters of Pakistan's shield former prime minister Imran Khan held a massive rally on Monday in the city of Swabi marking one year since his detention and demanded his immediate release Imran Khan was convicted in four cases ahead of a February national election and has been in jail since August last year but all of the sentences against him have since been overturned or suspended Khan who lost power in a parliamentary vote in 2022 has blamed that the country's powerful army has been backing what he calls politically motivated cases against him His imprisonment has added to political turmoil in Pakistan which has experienced a prolonged economic crisis इंशाल्लाह ताला वो लीडर जल्द बाहर आएगा उनका मैसेज यही है दो साल एक साल तक खान साहब को जेल में रखा आज कोई केस नहीं है जिसमें खान साहब की कन्विक्शन हो लेकिन फिर भी जेल में बंद है हम समझते हैं ये लाकानूनियत है ये गैर यूनी गैर कानूनी है मूविंग ऑन Members of the Baloch diaspora in Germany staged a demonstration on Monday to denounce what they call Pakistan's brutal crackdown in Balochistan. They allege widespread human rights abuses against Baloch people who have been protesting against enforced disappearances. A report. Members of the Baloch community in Germany on Monday held a protest in the city of Hanover against Pakistani atrocities in Balochistan. The protesters expressed solidarity with participants of the Baloch National Gathering in Gwadar and condemned the crackdown on the supporters of Baloch Yakjati Committee spearheading protests against enforced disappearances in Balochistan. Demonstrations in Balochistan have continued despite firings and detention of hundreds of people by Pakistan. Pakistani forces opening fire on protesters during the Baloch National Gathering on 28th of July which organized by the Baloch Yakjati Committee in Gwadar. The situation in Balochistan is extremely tense and dangerous. Asserting that the region is under complete siege the situation in gwadar is also dire thousand of military personnel have brutally attacked on the baloch national gathering firing directly on public as and for disappearances extrajudicial killings and systematic oppression will not silence us how many lives must be lost How many time must the Baloch people be denied their basic human rights? The relentless killings and abduction coupled with the use of force and weapons against innocent civilians will not go unnoticed. Activists allege that Pakistan repeatedly carries out so-called military operations and enforced disappearances to instill fear and exert control over the Baloch people who have been demanding independence from its occupation. And 
The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs has stated that floods in Afghanistan since May this year, at least 83,000 people have been affected and resulted in the loss of dozens of lives. In a report, the UN rights body said 23.7 million people in Afghanistan are in dire need of assistance, with 48% of the population living below the poverty line. The rains have caused extensive damage in several provinces. The situation remains critical with rise in food insecurity and displacement issues amidst ongoing humanitarian challenges. The UN body said immediate and sustained international support is crucial to mitigate further suffering and aid in the recovery efforts for affected communities. And at least 22 Indian fishermen were arrested by Sri Lankan Navy on Monday evening for allegedly poaching in the Lankan waters. In a statement, the Lankan Navy said in a coordinated operation with the Coast Guard, two Indian trawlers along with 22 fishermen on board were apprehended near south of Manna Seas after they were spotted engaging in illegal fishing. The fishermen will be handed over to Kalpitya Fisheries Inspector for onward legal action, the statement added. The development comes after the Milnadu Fishermen Association met Indian Foreign Minister S. A. Shankar over the frequent detention of Indian fishermen by Lankan authorities. BJP Tamil Nadu Unit Chief K. Annamalai, who was part of the delegation, said that Jay Shankar has assured to facilitate meeting between the fishing communities of India and Sri Lanka to discuss the issues affecting them. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.